I must say when I first started playing Fortnite, or I should say when I first saw that Salty Springs was a point of interest on the map, I really didn't like it. I, I remember running by it for the first couple times it was out, and uh, I, I really thought that it was a, a bad place on the map, and it has now completely turned 180 and is like my favorite place to go. I go there almost every game, and uh, actually, this game and the game after, I, I pick up back-to-back uh, -back wins, and I drop basically the same place, well, it is the same place, and I get about the same amount of kills. Um, so I, I, I start off just ripping people in Salty Springs. Uh, I don't really have the best loot, but um, either way, I, I, I come out of there, I think, with five kills or so. But the, I think the highlight of this video is that I completely lost track of the storm, the time, my location on the map in regards to the storm and all that stuff. And I, I think I was just so focused on getting the kills and I was grinding a lot of Black Ops 4 so I was more yes. concerned about my aim and all that stuff and sensitivity and whatnot. And I just did not pay attention at all to the storm. Uh, and you'll see that after I pick up the fifth kill, I think it's this kill, I'm pretty sure, uh, I realized like, oh shit. I need to, oh no, it's this kill. After I pick up this kill, I'm like, oh shit, I'm nowhere close to the storm, or to the to the safe zone. Uh, and I'll, all I have is, are minis. So, for me to find something that uh, will heal me through the storm is probably going to be very difficult. So, chances are I just did all of this for nothing. But by some miracle, I happen to be running through Tilted Towers, and I run by the... Uh, a vending machine and it, right at the last second you see it just switches to a slurp and I'm like wow and I, I remember that the the, the buff with the, with the slurp and and how it's basically what 75 I still don't understand it exactly but it's 75 75 and uh, and so I pop it and it basically gets me or keeps me uh, around 30 to 40 health throughout the storm so I'm able to get out of the storm and I'm like thinking the whole time like if I make it out of this storm with it, you know, 40 health, uh, I gotta win the game. Um, so I, you know, I, I just truck it through the storm, and I'm, I'm noticing that my health bar is moving up because uh, this is first storm, so the ticks aren't very hard, harsh. Uh, and I'm just kind of trucking along, and I'm I able I'm able to get out of the storm, and uh, I find another slurp up on top of the hill, and basically get to I think I might get to 100, 100, and uh, it just it, it's just unbelievable how that stuff works, like. Everyone's saying streamer loot and all that stuff, and I'm not that big of a streamer, so that doesn't apply to me necessarily, but I just thought it was pretty awesome that I ran through the storm. I was basically dead. There's no way I was going to make it out without any type of heals, and I find a slurp, and uh, I get out, so it was pretty awesome to see that. Okay, so I finally make it out, and I make it over to the crates area, and I see there's some fighting going on on top of the hill, so I decided to build up and feeling confident. Uh, I feel like luck is on my side at this point. You'll notice I'm at 100 uh, shield and what, 82, 92 uh, health. So uh, I felt pretty confident going in. I figured that these guys at least were hurt somewhat. Uh, I see that the guy picked up the kill, so he's probably trying to heal or loot up or whatever. So my instinct is to just push on him um, because he's hurt. Uh, so a little bit of time goes by, I loot him up. And uh, I, I push up onto this hill trying to get into the zone and there's another guy and, and what happens to me all the time uh, it, It's like clockwork is that when I'm in a fight especially late game like this when I'm in a fight with someone There's always someone else that will do something like the, it's not normally just get shot in the back It's I'll get a rocket launcher shot at me or a grenade launcher or something like that or sticky grenades or, or gas grenades something will happen it's not usually normal, and as you can see, I started to get hit with, um, with a rocket, and that's actually that was actually beneficial for me because I dropped right down onto him, uh, and was able to to pick him up pretty easily. That was just a laser, and I had to dance on him because that was that was pretty sick. Because that guy was just trying to get high ground and just rocking me the whole time, and I was able to to just uh, laser his ass with that scar. So I actually spent like six minutes looting because I couldn't find the damn chug jug. I found it, and he brings me to the end of the game. Uh, and I see the guy run across towards the end and I got the sniper out. I was again feeling confident My sniper shot was on that day and uh, I see him kind of run across the uh, the way there and Unfortunate because I thought that was gonna be a headshot because he jumped in the air and as he was coming down I thought for sure that the bullet was gonna hit him uh, I saw I did a hundred damage and five shields So I know he was super low and all I got to do is get one shot on him get the shot on him and win Hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like subscribe comment do all that cool shit. There's a dab
and I'll see you guys in the next video. What an epic ass game.